Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to getting started with ESP IDF on Visual Studio Code. We are gonna install the Expressive IDF in Visual Studio Code. So just go to Extensions from here, check for ESP IDF and install this extension. I've already installed it. The installation process may take long based on your internet connection speed and the computer. After installing the Espressive IDF, don't forget to install the CMake extension as well. Now let's create our first project as RGB LED Blink. Go to File, just add a folder. I created a folder called IDF Projects. Okay. Now go to view from command palette, go to expressive IDF show example projects. From here, just select sample project and create project using example simple project. From the explorer section, open main. The development kit that I'm gonna use is ESP. C312F. Now let's check for the schematic of this board. I'm gonna check for the GPIO numbers where the RGB LEDs are connected to. Here you can see that we have an RGB where the IO4 is green, IO3 is red, and IO5 is blue. So let's configure the GPIOs in ESP IDF. And the GPIO direction would be selected as output. Now we should define the related library for GPIO and FreeRTOS. Now let's create a loop. We are going to set and reset the related pin for red LED. Now I'm gonna create a simple delay using VTAS delay. Port tick period MS is a constant that represents the duration of one tick in the free RTOS tick rate. So I'm gonna divide 1000 by this parameter in order to create a one second delay. Now let's do the same for making the LED off. Just change 1 to 0. Okay, now connect your board and go to here. In order to select the port, the port that is assigned to the board is 4. Then go to here in order to select the ESP32 type. In my case, it is ESP32C3. From here, I'm going to choose the third one as it's a USB bridge for debugging. Now it is setting the device target. Now come to here in order to build the project. I just made a mistake. I just missed a letter R. Build again. And now flash the device. From here select UR. As you see, the red LED is blinking now. Now let's do the same for other LEDs as well. The green was 4 and the blue was assigned to GPIO number 5. Now save and build this again. Flash the ESP. As you see, all three colors of RGB is blinking now every one second. 
Thanks for watching this video guys. Please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.